I mean, look at the color variations on these guys. We've got dark ones, we've got light ones, we've got super high yellows. They are gorgeous. This is one that I pulled out of the incubator that's hatching. You can learn so much about science from them. This tortoise right here is found in Southeast Asia. I am not in Southeast Asia. Come on, buddy, come on out. Whoa! Man, I almost messed my pants. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm hanging out here with a little baby redfoot tortoise. This guy hatched just a few weeks ago. And today we're gonna talk about baby tortoises, but more specifically, our baby redfoots. And you guys see all the videos of me digging up the little eggs all the time. And I just wanted to show you just what happens when they finally hatch out and what you need to do when they do hatch out to make sure that they can grow and grow into perfect little babies and adults. Oh man, that's so awesome, but check this out. You know what's even more awesome? More baby redfoots everywhere. Look at that, we've got about 12 of them in here, I think, yeah, it looks like, yep, 12 baby redfoot tortoises, and they're really variable in color. We've got dark ones, we've got light ones, we've got super high yellows, we've got them right there. I mean, just gorgeous little tortoises. Uh, these guys are awesome, man, and I love it. And now you know they're redfoots and not cherry heads because the darkness stays close to the mid of their seam here on their plastic. On. Um, little guys like this, they hatch out. Like I said, these guys are a few weeks old. This guy's about a month and a half old. You see how much larger he can be than some of the smaller ones that are more new additions. They still have that soft uh, underbelly. In fact, baby tortoises of all kinds are going to remain soft for up to two years after they uh, hatch. So that's why they're very vulnerable to predation. Most of the time, little baby tortoises are gonna be hiding, guys. Everyone asks me when they get a new tortoise, they say, Cannon, my tortoise hides a lot. Um, is it okay? And I say, yes, it is okay. These little guys are very cryptic. They try and hide, they eat in a small area. So you can imagine if a little baby tortoise was living, maybe he would just wedge himself under there and then he would come out and just nibble, nibble, nibble and stay close to a home range. And he would try and basically, you know, blend in with those beautiful colors. He would blend into the ground there and he would start nibbling on all the little clover and he'd just start getting big. That's his job. I got to get big. I got to get big quick uh, so that I don't get eaten. And only the smartest and the toughest are going to survive here in nature uh, but these little guys certainly are adorable look at this guys look at this he's already eating some of that clover isn't that amazing uh, he's never been in grass before and he's eating what do you say i'm gonna put a few of these guys out and see if we could get them started on some natural natural foods here but we're gonna have to keep an eye on them look at this and the other funny thing is if they see one tortoise doing it then the other tortoises start to do it so one of the things you can do when you have these tortoises, if you created a really nice enclosure over this and kept fire ants and other insects that may harm them, mostly ants, if you were able to keep them away, you could actually build an outdoor environment for them if you have the weather and they would do very well. They would grow quicker because as we know, natural sunlight is one of the things that helps baby tortoises get much bigger quickly. Now these guys are gonna be looking for a place to hide. Um, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes on them. I I wanted to see if any more would eat some of this little clover that's kind of grown here over by the wetland filter. Um, very cool, look at this. What did I tell you? They like to hide, okay? I, I just saw this area and I thought, you know, if I were a tortoise, that's where I'd want to go. They're gonna look for cover because they know they could be eaten very easily. So little tortoises are gonna wander around, stay close to a home range, stay close to someplace where they know that they've got cover and they're going to eat the foods available to them there. So that's why it's very important for them to remain cryptic. Look at this little dude, I love it. And this is also teaching me, this tortoise is teaching me that he's a survivor. This is an animal that's got a great uh, eating response. Um, look at this one. Right here, another one, starting to nibble. Isn't that great, guys? And that's what I like to do with these tortoises. I bring them out here, I get them started, and this way, whoever gets these tortoises next, know that they have an amazingly strong, well-started, 
healthy baby redfoot tortoise. They are amazing pets. Uh, they're amazing to watch uh, grow and you can learn so much about science from them. Let's put this one back in the water and let them soak. I usually let them soak for about 10 minutes. So these guys are all a few weeks old, the oldest being a couple of months, uh, a month and a half. Let's get this one out. I don't want to forget you, right? Uh, but it's really cool to watch. This one hasn't even moved, but it doesn't mean it's not healthy. It's just it just means that this one's a little more shy. So let's put this one back in and let these two do their thing. He's eating, look at this, he's eating the weeds that are in there. Look, he's already had some bites on that weed. Really cool, and you notice how they're attracted to this large rock? Because they know it's safe. So they're smart. They have to be smart in order to survive. They're not smart like doing calculus or uh, arithmetic of some kind, but these animals are smart for what they need to do to survive in the wild. So that's really, really cool, right? I love it. I love watching these guys do their thing, but I also wanna show you something else special. We've got a bunch of new recruits. I just took out, uh, they hatched only a few days ago, and these little guys right here are incredible. They're also very, very small. Uh, these little dudes, you see, they still have their umbilicus. And here actually is a cherry head. You see how much darker he is? Watch this when I flip these two over. Do you see the darkness on the cherry head? They're the same tortoise, they're the same species, but these guys are from an area where they don't grow as large and they keep a beautiful red head. Whereas the redfoots all get yellow heads as they grow older, um, but this is really cool. So we have a cherry head and what else do we got? Oh, we got a little guy with his yolk getting absorbed. But what's this? We've got an elongated tortoise, folks. This is the first one of the season. A beautiful elongated tortoise. Look at that pale white head. Really, really pretty. As these guys grow, uh, they do very well. They have the same exact requirements as a redfoot tortoise. Um, they might be a little bit more of a forest tortoise, whereas redfoots will venture into forests and grasslands and are found over a wider range in South Africa. These guys are mostly forested uh, right here in Southeast Asia, um, or this tortoise right here is found in Southeast Asia. I am not in Southeast Asia. I'm a Camp Cannon. Anyway, these little dudes are cool. I figured, you know what? Let's pull them out like this and give them a little soaky. Oh, look at this guy. You gotta be careful with them because they can actually climb very well. So you gotta be careful. Um, I also wanted to show you two more special things here. This one I pulled out so you could see just how big the yolk is when they hatch. They'll stay in the nest up to two weeks absorbing that yolk. So that yolk still feeds them and then of course, this is one that I pulled out of the incubator that's hatching. How cool is that? A nice little baby redfoot hatching out right now. He pokes his nose out with that little tiny egg tooth. You can just make it out on front of his beak right there. And the little guy is gonna poke out and over the course of the next few days, he's gonna come out and he's gonna look like this dude. And they're both gonna hang out in the incubator for a little while. These guys aren't coming out. But these little dudes are ready for their first soak of water. Look at that. Have a look at those. They're gonna drink up the water too. These little guys instinctively know what water is and they know it is essential for life. And baby tortoises are all about staying hydrated because as a small little animal, they're gonna lose a lot of moisture quickly and uh, they can't do that. They wanna stay in a nice hidden area, nice microclimate where they can soak up some of that humidity and they'll be happy little boogers. So here we go. Look at how tiny, huh? There's some bigger hatchlings, some smaller hatchlings, but all of them are healthy. I raise them up for a few weeks before they go to new homes. Now, these guys are all ready to head on out to new homes. They are gorgeous. I mean, look at the color variations on these guys. It is really awesome to see that. Uh, these little dudes gotta suck it up, suck up that water. Little, uh, little elongated, how cool is that? And of course, little babies, man, so nuts. I love it. It's so much fun here at the camp to watch these little guys hatch out. Let's help them out. Uh, you just wanna peel this off. Now sometimes, little babies will actually die in the egg. They die in the process of hatching. And that's just part of their life cycle. Some of them just don't make it uh, even past the hatch. And as most of you already know, many tortoise nests and turtle nests are raided by egg predators within the first 24 to 48 hours of being laid. In fact, I've actually sat out here uh, by my pond and I've watched crows 
Look at the water turtles, sliders and such, that will be coming out to lay their eggs. They come out, they dig a hole, as they're depositing an egg, as an egg is falling out of their cloaca, a crow comes up behind them, grabs it, takes off. And then whatever the crows didn't get, if you're not careful, you're gonna have raccoons, possum, uh, fox, other mammals uh, that are gonna eat those babies and eat those eggs. So it's really a, an amazing uh, you know, survival uh, when, when one of these makes it to adulthood, any tortoise or turtle that makes it to adulthood had to overcome some pretty serious odds to get there. The other thing is we think about tortoises and turtles as laying so many eggs, and they do. And the reason they do that is because they're actually helping the food chain. They lay a lot of eggs to increase their chances of survival. Um, so most of these babies will not even make it to adulthood because most of these babies in the wild their job is to become food for other animals. But if one makes it, she has the potential to reproduce and deposit thousands of eggs over her lifetime, which is incredible, guys. That is just incredible that an animal can be so prolific with producing eggs. And I talked to my buddy, uh, my good friend, Larry Wood, marine biologist. He studies sea turtles, and he always brought something very interesting up to me that I never looked at. And I think I've mentioned it in videos before, um, uh, but baby, uh, you know, female tortoises will lay 100 eggs and deposit them in the ground. And he said, well, Kenan, human females also have a lot of eggs. Their eggs just don't get fertilized, uh, not all of them. So once a month, there's an egg in a human female. So 12 eggs a year usually, and uh, that's one opportunity uh, to get fertilized, but um, they lay 12 eggs a year. They don't really lay them, they, they produce eggs. Uh, so it's just kind of interesting. So females of all kinds are capable of just producing eggs and that have the potential to become fertilized. But luckily for mammals, most mammals like humans, uh, we, <laughs> can you imagine if a woman could have a baby or, or all 12 of those eggs were, were uh, fertilized? That would be pretty incredible. Uh, we wouldn't want that. Be like a Octomom or something, man. That would just be incredible. So anyhow, reptiles have this as a really cool survival tactic. That's what they do. They're amazing survivors. Uh, this little guy, you see how his shell is the shape of the eggshell. Um, after a few days, you see, they'll spread out, okay? And then the yolk gets absorbed and then they get to this level. Okay, where they're ready to go into their new little nursery that I've set up. And of course, here are the guys that have been around for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna just take a quick, short walk right over here. Okay, we're gonna do this real quick. And I wanna show you the adults because you know, you need to see what they're gonna become. Uh, and how about a big male right here? Look at that beauty. This is one of the dads of those children right there. Just a gorgeous adult redfoot tortoise. They can get close to 30 pounds. Um, they aren't the biggest tortoises. Here's another one hiding out. It's a female hiding under some of the weeds I throw in here when I'm, when I'm weeding up there. Um, we of course have a bunch more hiding and hanging out, doing their thing, and Legos right there. So these little guys are just doing amazing. And I just wanted to share the fact that we have so many baby tortoises, it's incredible. I love it. Uh, really, really cool stuff. So why don't we take these two and why don't we bring them back to their habitat i'll put them in their habitat we could talk a little bit about some of the basic needs that baby tortoises need and then we'll go ahead and uh, put these little dudes i'm gonna have to go ahead and throw these guys back into the incubator so i'll tell you what i'm gonna throw these guys back and i'll meet you over at the habitat <laughs> As you guys can see, the air compressor's going. The guys are working hard right now, doing their thing, building Cayman Creek, the containment center. So you know what? Uh, what I need to do in the meantime, since this is so loud, we're gonna do a quick interlude, and I'm gonna go ahead and feed this rabbit to the alligator. Or actually, you know what? Hmm, who wants it? The alligators have been fed pretty well. What if we just go and give Slinky this rabbit? That might be a better idea. I think Slinky could use the rabbit more than the gators because those guys 
are fat and happy. But I'll show you the gators anyway. Like I said, these videos are fun because you never know where they're gonna go. We start talking about little, little baby tortoises. We take a little trip. We go see Dale. There she is out there, way out there. And then there's Snaggy right there. Uh, he's turning around. He's a good guy. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, they both ate a lot. God, I'm, I'm torn, I'm torn. I mean, she's eating, he's eating. To be honest, so is Slinky. Now ah, let's go feed Snaggle too. It's fun. I like being the boss of my own place. We could come in here and I could do my own thing. It's cool. I like it making these executive decisions. So let's do it. All right. Snaggy. Oh, 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 oh. Snaggy. Snaggy. <whistles> like, I don't know who's going to get here first. But uh, what we need to do is make sure she's cruising. She is cruising. Snaggy. Come on, Snag. Come on, Snag. Come on, boy. She's going to get it before you, and she's eating a lot. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Look out. You missed it. Or actually, I missed it, and I almost slid. And man, I almost messed my pants. Let's go over here. Here it is. It's right over here, Snaggy. Come on, buddy. Hold on. Let's shut this and make sure nobody gets out. Oh, my God. Come on. It's right over here. Let's get our, he, all he's got to do is just turn. There it is, Snags. I got to keep an eye on her and an eye on him. It's so much fun to get in here. <laughs> Gosh, come on, buddy. He just blew out of the water right there. But if I think, if I just take this stick right here, this is a good stick. We don't need one too big. I just want to move that little rodent. Oh wait, I think he's actually got it. Actually, rabbits aren't rodents. Nope, nope. Let's see. Sandals are probably not the best thing to feed alligators in. I guess barefoot would be better, but now he's laying on it. But you notice how she doesn't even come out because she doesn't see the bucket and I haven't called her, but he is laying right on that rabbit. So now what am I gonna do? It's so fun that a video about baby turtles, tortoises, turns into some feeding drama. Here we go. Oh, you're bringing it in the water. There it is right there, buddy. It's right there. Oh boy, see what happens. We just turned this into a production. I love it. You gotta scare yourself a couple times a day. That's what I always say. Uh, not yet, I don't trust that. What are you doing? Where are you going? Easy. It's like, you know what's funny is, I'm tempted, you know, you're so, you'd be so stupid. It's tempting to reach down and grab the rabbit, but um, that would be the last time I used my right hand. And we want to make sure that we don't do something stupid like that. So he will find it. And uh, hopefully he gets it and not the big mama here. She kind of gets, she's pretty darn dominant. Uh, she's pretty aggro here. He's feeling it with those eyes. So look at this, look at that. There you go. There you go. Good boy. He got his rabbit. There you go. Start calling you Fud. Look at how big he is though. Isn't he beautiful? That is a good boy right there. Uh, what a good boy. You gonna eat that? I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. But believe me, you're fine. I love having these guys around because it is uh, just an exciting, exciting addition to the camp. And there's always something fun going on. Look at him go. Look at Snaggy go. Very cool. Just positioning the rabbit and then it'll go right down the gullet. Awesome stuff, man. What do you guys think? Do you like that we have alligators now at the camp? Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys enjoying learning about turtles? <laughs> Tortoises, rather. I'd like to show you all the things going on here. Um, and right now, uh, I think the compressor has stopped. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so we can finish up our video and uh man that was awesome such cool animals sorry dale no food for you lady dale we only had one rabbit and that rabbit was defrosted all right let's head on back i'll show you guys what i'm going to do with these babies real quick uh this enclosure is looking amazing these guys worked their asses off they worked their butts off and uh we're gonna have came in here very soon so that's gonna be exciting oh 
And right as I get back, the air compressor goes off. Oh, bummer. Anyway, here's what we gotta do. We gotta put these little guys in here. But you can see, very simply, very simply guys, we're gonna get this over quick. Very simply, we got a hiding area. We got a nice mixture substrate with soil. We got a, a flat rock that you can put food on and it heats up in the sun. We've got a shallow water dish that is being cleaned right there, okay? We've got sphagnum moss that I missed down to keep the humidity up and all kinds of hides. So let's put these little dudes back in really quicko. Here come the new recruits. They're getting put in. All right, they're gonna wander all over the place. We're gonna spray them down. And this is gonna be an amazing group of baby turtles. And I keep saying turtle, it's a tortoise. Baby tortoises, and they're gonna be awesome. So you guys are gonna be stoked. And uh, oh, I'm stoked raising them. Let's get these teenagers back in, or these guys. Hey, what are you doing upside down like that, Bubba? Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's get these little guys going. How many do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then I'll just take some of this water and I'll re-moisten the sphagnum moss, okay? That's all you do, keep it moist. I keep these guys outside in the afternoon. They'll get nice sunlight. They come out to bask. Uh, they're right here. If it's ever cold, I wheel them into the reptile room. But right now, things are looking good. So there you go, guys. A little, a little baby tortoise adventure for you. Just so many little guys. I know which is which, believe it or not. I know who's hatched out later and earlier, judging by their size. And uh, soon they'll be all offered up. They can find new homes and uh, they're just fantastic. All right, guys, that's it. That's my uh, video for today. Wow, yeah, shoot, man. You know, you gotta get a little excited, right? You gotta have some alligator excitement. You gotta uh, see the enclosures being built. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Soon, Caymans here at the camp. It's almost done. See ya.